Welcome to the Collector Cave, and today we have a really awesome release from Play Arts Kai um, from uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is Cloud Strife, Jesse Raspberry, and the Shinra made bike that they use to escape um, the lower levels in Final Fantasy VII Remake. So this is the three pack. Um, you know, I wanted it because of Cloud I was having a hard time finding Cloud. Um, he is available on Square Enix North site, but this apparently is version two of Cloud, which is an updated head sculpt and hair sculpt, I believe, um, and a couple more hands than the, than the first one. But uh, we'll get him out of package. He looks really awesome. And then here's Jesse, one of the Avalanche members um, of Final Fantasy VII. Some people love Jesse. Some people don't like her. I, I like her. I thought in the remake she was done well. I think in the remake they really expanded the roles of Wedge, Biggs, and Jesse. And give some backstory to some of these characters to make you care for them more. Especially Jesse. Um, her backstory ends up being pretty cool. Trying to make it the gold, gold saucer. Um, really cool backstory. And then a rebirth. There's some more to it that I'm in right now currently at, at the gold saucer. But she comes with a couple extra head sculpts or face sculpts, which is pretty neat. A smiling one and then a winking one. She has her, uh, her little machine gun, a bunch of hands up here. Um, here's the motorcycle. You know, it's kind of hard to see behind the packaging. And then uh, the Buster Sword for Cloud. Don't want to miss this. And it looks like I don't see any, any Materia set in here. So that's kind of odd. We'll see on the other side of this Materia. But um, very cool packaging from Play Arts Kai. Um, most of them are closed. You open it up and it reveals the inside. But this is just open um, on itself. And up here you see the uh, Play Arts Kai or Square Enix products uh, logo. And then down here, uh, the hologram shows that it's um, official uh, licensed product by Square Enix. And then down here we see um, Jesse Cloud and the motorcycle set. And if we rotate it on the side here, uh, this box is so huge. If I go down here, uh, maybe zoom out a little bit. You guys can maybe pause if you want to read this. This talks about the game itself, and then down below, it talks about um, Jesse and Cloud and the bike, how they get the bike, and Avalanche is the eco-terrorist resistance group. It sounds horrible, but really what's happening in FF7 is Shinra, um, electric company, is kind of bleeding the planet dry of Mako energy and destroying the planet in the meantime, so they're trying to fight back uh, to save the planet. So if we look at the back of the box, we see some really cool artwork here um, of Cloud and Jesse on the bike, like in motion. Nice shot there. He's got his buster sword out ready to fight some security officers riding their own bikes. And then here's a picture of uh, Cloud looking back at Jesse as she's giving him some um, commendation or adulation, depending on how you're doing on that level. And then uh, a cool picture of him with the buster sword and then Jesse with a machine gun, and then standing. So I can see a lot of uh, playability with this set, a lot of posing, looking forward to that. And then down below, it just kind of gives you the, the legalese of everything, Square Enix information, and then um, 20 points of articulation on the figures, and then there is the, uh, the UPC if you want that. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a look at everything that it comes with. Okay, and there's some directions included with this set. Um, they both come with their stands, which I'm glad. I wasn't sure if they had their stands. I'm glad they both have their stands. Because if you don't have them on the bike, um, you're going to probably need the stands. Unless you have a solid ground in your room and you're not walking around too much, they won't fall. But it gives you that information. Um, here's the front of it. And then if you open it up, it gives you even more information. Uh, let's try to fold this the opposite way. So it shows uh, Jessie uh, with her face plates, how to change them out. All the hands that they come with. It shows Cloud, his hands, how the Buster Sword will go on his back. And then some details about the bike. How it moves. How the kickstand works. And then um, how to put on Jesse's, I think, belt and extra clip maybe. And then the swords that can hold the Buster, the hands that can hold, hold the Buster Sword. And then the kickstand. And then down here... Um, there's actually a stand for the bike you can use besides the kickstand, a clear stand. And then how to place the uh, figures on the motorcycle. And then how to place them together. 
So if you look at the details here, it's still in packaging, but here we see a little bit um, better detail with the, out of that first box. So man, these figures look really good. And this is like a one eight scale. So it's, you know, they're about 10 inches tall. Different type of scale than the Bring Arts. Bring Arts is more like one twelfth scale. This is like probably like one eighth scale. So here's all the details. And then underneath is all the stands. So let's get this stuff out of packaging and take a closer look. All right, and here's everything this set comes with. Quite a bit of stuff um, got out of the packaging to, to go over. So first you can see the characters. There's Cloud. Um, to me, Cloud's proportions seem a little weird. It might just be me, but it seems like his, I don't know, his upper torso is too long, too too thin. But, you know, it's off the remake, so maybe it, it is accurate. Um, but right off the bat, it seems he seems very tall and lanky to me. And maybe that's what Cloud looks like. I just, I don't know, it looks different to me. And then there's Jessie. Um, and she comes with all these different uh, face sculpts and, and weapons and stuff. Um, here's Cloud's Buster Sword. And unfortunately, the Buster Sword does not have any materia slotted into it, which kind of bums me out. Um, it does come with this black piece that you can plug into one of his materia slots and then put on his over his shoulder, connected to his back, which is cool. Um, and then here's his hands. He comes with uh, 10 total hands, five sets. And then here's Jessie's stuff. Here's her little Uzi she has with a little feather chain on the end, which is pretty neat. There's those two additional head sculpts, which look really good, I think. And then she comes with, um, let's see here, six, nine, 11 hands. One of them is a grenade holding hand. Oddly enough, um, Cloud's hands don't come with those stands. They provide these stands with all their um, Play Art Sky figures for Final Fantasy VII. At least so far, the figures I've gotten. So I'm um, kind of a bummer that he doesn't have the little um, stands for his hands. But still, it's fine. They can go back in the packaging. Or if you don't keep the packaging you know, in a Ziploc bag or something. And then here's um, this stand here is for the bike. The bike does have a kickstand, which works. But um, to be safe, it, it's probably smart. And it just goes together to use this stand. And I'll show you how this thing, how this thing sets up on the bike. But it'll help keep the bike so it doesn't fall if you're displaying it. And then if you don't use the bike, or if you use the bike and have them standing like this, if you want to um, use um, a clamp and a stand, they have two different size clamps, the smaller clamps and the bigger clamps. Um, honestly, the smaller clamps work fine, I think, for Cloud and, uh, and Jesse. Uh, they're both thinner figures. And then there's the flight stand, and then there's the stands. So different spots you can plug in the flight stand if you want to move it around in the stand, maybe um, counterbalance it so it doesn't fall. But let's go ahead and look at some detail here on some of these figures real quick. We'll start with Cloud since he is like the main man. Back up a little bit here. So let me uh, set my camera up a little bit taller because he is really tall. I don't have my tape measured, but I believe he measures in at over 10, 10 inches. But this is the version 2 of Play Art Sky Cloud. And from what I've read, um, the face sculpt's been updated. And I think the hair has been a little bit, I believe and he's been given some more hands. So that's the changes with this figure. But um, if we look closely, you can really see uh, his blue eyes. Look at that, soldier eyes, because he was a former soldier, ex-soldier as he says. The hair is pliable, it is pointy and sharp, so you have to be careful. Um, you know, this is for ages 15 and up, and a, a choking hazard for ages three, so you gotta be careful you have little ones. Um, but yeah, the hair looks really good. There's no interchangeable face plates for Cloud. Um, and I'm wondering maybe because the way they, they did the hair, there's no way for the hair to come, to come apart. And honestly, Cloud's face looks like this most of the time. <laughs> He's just, oh, uh, Cloud. And you can see his earring. It's, it's kind of showing up there in the light. He has the one earring on. Of course, this hair, ear, we're not sure it's, well, it's not covered. There's no earring there. But yeah, the hair looks really good. This is probably, Cloud's probably the most famous, popular FF character of all time. Um, and his known by his hair. And I think they did a good job. I know some people are giving detailed look at his hair throughout the years and how certain roughs and, and points change on it. But to me, I mean, you recognize this as Cloud Strife because you got the tall spike right here and the one coming down here. You just know it's Cloud. And then there's his his uh, soldier shoulder pauldron with like the, the rivets or the bolts. And you can see it's uh, been detailed, some weathering coming out of there. 
Uh, here's his, you know, his chest. This is kind of a rubbery plastic here, his belt. Um, yeah, good t detail there. We'll go over articulation in a little bit. His legs are really thick because the pants are baggy. That's why his legs look so thick. They're baggy pants. And then down to his uh, his boots. This is his soldier garb. Even though he's no longer a soldier, um, he still has that in. And then this just unplugs, I believe, in the back. Yeah, that, that'll pull out if you want to hang the sword on his back, which we'll do to, we'll do in a minute. But speaking of the buster sword, check this thing out. It's not too heavy, even though it's so big. Um, it's not so heavy. But if you look at the details here, you can see some, some it's been used. There's some marks on the edge of the blade, like he's been using it. Um, the Buster Sword is probably the most recognizable sword he has. You know, throughout the game, in Remake and Rebirth, he gets different swords. Um, but the Buster Sword's the the one that, when people see Cloud, this huge, you know, massive sword. And it's it's not as sharp as his hair on the end, but it definitely is sharp, so you have to be careful. This edge is kind of sharp, too. You're not going to cut yourself unless you really bear down, but just be careful. Uh, but yeah, it looks nice. On to Jesse. Uh, Jesse Raspberry. This is kind of what she looks exactly like in um, an FF remake. And, you know, playing the original way back when, I, I, I remember them having these armor, her bigs and wedge, kind of look like this with his armor. And they did, they did a good job of updating it for the remake. Um, but, you know, she has three different hair, uh, head sculpts, face sculpts, which we'll get to. This one looks really good, though. Her brown eyes, her headband, the lipstick looks really good. And uh, like like Aerith, her ponytail is on a ball joint. It's ratcheted a little bit. Not as strong as, T as um, Aerith, but it definitely is ratcheted. And so you can get like a windblown look with her hair, you know, all the way up. So if she's on the bike and she's down riding, you can get it like she's like the wind's blowing her hair. Pretty cool. But the detail in her armor looks good. You see the chain mail there behind her, her armor carapace here, shoulder pauldrons, uh, the pouch. This is um, a movable belt here. It moves. Uh, bendy plastic, rubbery. There's some armor on her, on her hands there, all the way down to her feet, the armor on her shins. Yeah, really good looking figure. Um, you know, I don't think they've ever released Wedge or Biggs. And I thought maybe after releasing Jessie here, you can get Jessie in this pack or I think in, in a bike by herself, I believe. But not by herself solo. It's with her in a bike. I think it'd be cool if they did a two-pack with uh, Wedge and Biggs. So you could finish off the uh, the Avalanche set, you know? The, at least the main Avalanche crew that we, we work with in FF Remake. But um, on to the bike now, and this might be a little hard, but man, the bike is really cool. It's a, it's a Shinra designed bike, and uh, it's got a green, you know, the green look to it. It's big enough to hold two people or one person. I have the kickstand up right now, but if I, if I bring this in a little bit, um, it has some movability. You know, the wheels, the wheels move, which is nice. They're not rubber. <sighs> they kind of are. It's like a rubbery plastic. So if I don't want to put my nail into it because I might leave a mark. It definitely has some sort of rubbery feel, but it's not like a full-on rubber wheel. Um, and the handlebars just move just a little bit, not a lot. So you really can't turn the wheel very much. If I get it straight on here, it just turns a little bit because it catches, it catches back in here. But there's the headlight. There's no light-up function. You see turn, turn signals there, but it looks good. Yeah, the details in this bike are really nice. And the kickstand goes up. It goes back. Um, but in order to use that this clear stand, you have to have the kickstand down, which is kind of weird. It'd be cool to have the kickstand up, like they're riding the bike, and then this stand down there. But the kickstand's got to be down for it to work. Well, this is kind of like a, like a fancy dirt bike, right? Um, tail lights look good. Yeah, oh, there's a brake light back there, too. There's the exhaust, the muffler. Muffler's really big, really cool looking. Very aggressive, right? Some of the housing there. Yeah, and the, the 
the seat's plastic. It's not, it's not rubber or soft. It's a hard plastic. And then there's the details here. Um, you can actually see a, a odometer. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Get it, we can get this to focus. Let me go out one. There's an odometer right there. Hard to tell if it's actually got numbers, but yeah, it's cool. Um, and then the, the handlebars are a little bendy. So I think when you um, get these figures on here, you may have to bend it a bit for them to, to fit. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see. But yeah, so this is everything it comes with. This is the accessories. And so let's go ahead and go into um, articulation for the figures next. All right, so articulation for Cloud. His head is on a ball joint, so it can look down pretty good. Look back really good if his hair gets past his little, uh, his neck there, his sweater, and then you can rock it side to side. Um, the, the neck is on a, a ball joint at the base of the head, at the base of the neck, so there's two ball joints. That really helps get some good rotation for, for Cloud's, Cloud's head. You can see him looking off to the distance there. Yeah, excellent uh, articulation. Now the shoulders are a little different, the arms. You can go 90, um, but if you zoom in and look at this joint, the joint's designed a little bit different than most figures. It's not a traditional ball joint or a ball hinge joint. Um, let me show you here as an example. You have, you know, you have bi bicep rotation, which is nice and smooth. You have single jointed elbows, which give you just past 90 and then a ball hinge wrist, which you can hear is on a ratchet, which is gonna be needed for holding that buster sword. And the elbow is on a ratchet too. Um, but you can't bring the arm out straight because the way this is designed, you have to, it's kind of finicky. You can rotate this and then bring the arm forward to get it out. So it's a different type of design, but I think, yeah, I think it'll be strong enough to hold that sword. We'll try that after articulation. But that's articulation right there for the arm. Um, it doesn't go up or down. And then over here, this is on um, a piece of plastic inside here. You can see that plastic tab. So it gives some, some leeway to get that arm up all the way, which is nice. And then for the um, chest, there's upper, upper torso on a ball joint, which gives you great range. Um, crunch. With the lower ball joint, pretty good. And then back, really good. So good articulation there. And there's a ball joint at the waist as well. So he can twist and he can do all the turns you need him to do. And again, this belt is soft, so it gives you, you know, pliability and flexibility to be able to move him around really good, which is nice. The legs, the hips, um, are, on, are on ratcheting joints. And it can go up, you know, about 90, which is good. And then there is, it can go out. 90 as well. I just popped it off, so let's pop that back in. Yeah, that went in no problem, so that's good. It came off one in no problem. The thigh joint has a twist, which is nice. And then the knee joints um, are double jointed, and they're on ratchets as well. You can feel them. I don't know if you can actually see them there. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. You can see the ratchet a little bit there. But that's what his knee looks like. Not too bad. You know, usually double jointed knees, they don't look the nicest because there's just so much going on in front. But with it being so dark blue, it's kind of hard to tell. And then the feet um, are on ball, ball hinge. Yeah, they're ball hinge pegs. So you don't really get, you can twist the foot, you can twist it, but you can't really, you can go way up with it. And there's toes articulation. There's a toe articulation there, which is nice. And then it can go back really good. But as far as ankle rocker, um, I'm not really getting any ankle rocker out of this. So that might fight against some dynamics for Cloud um, when it comes to him, um, you know, posing with the sword, maybe in a dynamic pose. But regardless, you know, pretty good articulation for a 1 8 scale figure, I guess. Now on to Jessie, uh, much the same. Um, she has less ratcheting joints than Cloud does though. But the head again is, um, this one, the neck, the base neck is not a ball joint, it's fixed. So she just has a ball joint at the top of the, uh, the top of the neck meeting the head. But that still gives you really, really good range. So she can look down, she can look way up, 
you know, she can rock her head back and forth all the way around. So you can get some good looks with Jessie. And then her arms, you know, don't go out a full 90 because I think of this armor. Well, they do. They do. Yep, they hit a full 90. And then there's a biceps, bicep swivel right here. Double jointed elbows, which is nice. Doesn't look the prettiest, but you know, whatever, it's fine. And then ball hinge wrists, which are on ratchets. You can't hear them, but you can feel it a little bit. And then she has no upper torso um, articulation because of this uh, armor piece she has on. But the way she does, so she, oh, oh wait, she does. I'm sorry, my mistake. She does have a ball joint underneath here. Look at that, nice engineering. So she can go forward a little bit, but again, the armor piece, chest piece, is going to hold up right there. And then she can go back really good. But she can rock, you know, because of that ball joint side to side. And then her waist, oh, she has no waist articulation. There's no ball joint here. Yeah, there's no ball joint in the waist. I wonder why they chose not to do that. Just in the upper torso. Um, so interesting. You can't twist her here. You can only twist at the upper torso. And then the legs are ratcheting as well. And they go up 90. Um, double knee joint. Not the prettiest. But again, it's all the same color, so it at least blends. And then um, the feet, um, same thing as Cloud. You can kind of hear the ratcheting, though. Hear that? They ratchet, which is nice. They won't get weak over time. And they rotate. She has toe articulation as well on both, both toes. Um, and then she also has um, thigh rotation. It's tight, but it does move. Thigh rotation. So that's pretty much the articulation for Jessie. Um, next, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to um, change out her faces. Okay, interestingly enough, her hair does not come off to get the face sculpt off. With uh, Aerith and uh, Yuffie, the hair is kind of a part of each of the face sculpts, I believe, if I remember correctly. So it wasn't the easiest to get that face off, but let's go ahead and put another one in. And as you can see, it just plugs in right up here, but you have to be careful you don't damage the paint. So you kinda gotta go up, up and in with it. And yeah, there is, um, There's uh, Jesse smiling. You get the ball joint on the, uh, the the ponytail. So you can see like she's like, she's waving to Cloud. As the game progresses, it won't, you know, spoil too much with Remake if you haven't played it yet. It's a four-year-old game, but, um, you know, Jesse gets a little attached to Cloud. She likes to flirt with him. Um... That's kind of a flirty pose right there. If you zoom in a little bit and look at that face sculpt a bit more, it looks good. I don't think I have it. There we go. Now I have it all the way up. That's where it should be. But yeah, the paint apps are good. You can see her. Let me try and go one more. Yeah, you can see her brown eyes, her lipstick. Very soft sculpt, which, you know, a lot of these uh, Player at Sky sculpts are very soft looking, which is nice. And then you can see her earring. She has an earring there. Let's go ahead and change out the other one. I'll try and do it on camera just so you guys can see. It's not the easiest. You gotta kind of pull down from her chin, pull out, and then down. It kind of scares me that it's gonna mess up paint over time. This is the one where she kind of has her tongue sticking out. Um, let's see here, if I can get this in. This is not the easiest to change out, I'll say. All right. So here's one. Let's see if we can have her pose her doing something different. <laughs> it actually looks kind of goofy. Um, but here's this one. So she kind of, if you can tell, her tongue is kind of sticking out. They've got the tongue painted a different color from the, from the lipstick, which is nice. She's like winking. She's winking, yeah. I, she did that in the game. I forget where when it was, but she winked like that. Very playful character, um, Jesse. So yeah, really cool. Uh, so far, I'm liking this set a lot. Let me show you guys the um, the bike here and the stand. As I mentioned, this this plastic stand. So pretty much the way it works is you have to have the kickstand down, and that part plugs in right here. 
So you plug it in. And then that just really makes sure the bike's not going to fall top over. Because the kickstand does work. Um, it does work on its own. But I think if you had weight on this bike, or, you know, you, you're walking around your room, you make, some, you know, your room maybe jostles a little bit, whatever, it could fall over. With that stand, though, I don't think it's going anywhere. So what I'm going to do now is try and get these figures on the bike. Um, and if it's easy, I'll show you how I do it. Otherwise, I'll just do a static pose with it. Okay, so here's Cloud on the bike by himself. Um, I haven't tried any other poses yet, but I have his actually legs back far on the back on the back foot rest instead of the bottom ones. Because I think on the bottom ones, they almost look like he was too far up in the bike. Um, I could probably mess with his pose a bit better, but these are the hands they show to use um, in the directions, the ones that have the fingers, like right there. And right there and what I did was I put the hands on first on the on the on the handlebars and then I got the figure on and then I plugged the the wrists into the hands or the arms um, to get him to sit on the bike but yeah you're not bad let me go ahead and throw Jesse on there all right and there's Jesse on the bike with cloud um, it was actually pretty easy to get her on there um, I, you see her she's holding on to him with both arms um, that was, you know, really went on pretty easy. She's actually looking over his shoulder, like having a great time while he's fighting bad guys and stressing out. Um, I'm not sure about the legs. I need to look at some of the uh, promo pics again. I think that I need to get Cloud's feet down on the uh, lower pegs and get her feet on those back pegs where he's resting currently. But still, like a shot like this uh, for, for toy photography would be really cool yeah that's really awesome let me just kind of futz with this for a few minutes here and see what else we can come up with all right check this out really cool got cloud with the buster sword ready to take out a shinra bad guy got jesse with her with her machine gun and you see that uh, that charm she has on her machine gun, the feather, it's, it actually moves, which is really cool. And I got their feet uh, planted on the correct footrest this time. Although I feel like Cloud's really far up on the bike. Um, I may have to just mess with it a bit more, but maybe that's how it's supposed to look. I don't think it looks bad. Um, but I think it's how it's supposed to be because where those foot pegs, those footrests sit. Um, those footrests sit right there. So I think the way I have it is really how it's supposed to be. You could probably get a third person on here, honestly. Um, but yeah, look at that. Really awesome. Man, that is super cool. I like that a lot. I didn't think I um, care for this bike that much. I was really in it for the figures. Um, I don't really own any bikes in toy scale like this. But I think that is awesome. Now, I will say, getting that buster sword on that hand for Cloud was not easy. Um, it, it was a challenge to get that thing on and even get, that, get this hand in the wrist peg. Uh, but if I do this, let's see here, if we can get him to come down with it. Like he's, yeah, see that wrist won't hold that sword. It's too, it's not strong enough. That's too bad. But we get it down like this, like he's coming back with it. Like he's, yeah, if that wrist won't hold it, hold it. So that wrist peg, either I gotta get the, the hand in further, which might be the case, but still even then, it doesn't wanna hold it. I think I have to turn, turn this ball joint so it's not, yeah, I gotta turn the ball joint somehow. I may have to use pliers to do that because it's really tight. But if you twist that ball joint so that the hinge is not going up and down, It'll hold it straight. That's how you got to do that. But still, anyway, you know, imagine he's like, you know, there's like sparks flying as he's driving this motorcycle like 200 miles an hour and there's sparks flying up on the highway as they're escaping Shinra headquarters. Man, super cool. I'm, I'm really liking this set a lot more than I thought I was going to. Cloud looks awesome on the bike, as does Jesse. Look at that. <laughs> let, me, um, let me do something here with Jesse. Because she has that uh, ponytail and she's riding on a bike going 200 miles an hour. I want to turn her head sideways. Her hair's flying in the wind. Yeah, check that out. That's more like it. 
Cloud's rear and up ready to take out a Shinra guard. Man, super cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to take Cloud off the bike now because I wanna show you guys um, what he looks like with a Buster Sword on his back. Okay, and here is Cloud on the turntable with his Buster Sword attached to his back with that peg. You can see right there it pegs in. Um, I've got him on his stand because his right ball hinge ankle, they're on ratchets, but the ratchet's a little bit further apart. And if I push the ratchet forward, he topples over. If I push it back, he leans back. So the, the ratchet feels like it's off a little bit for him standing on his own. You can make him stand on his own, but I have a feeling he might fall, at least mine. So I've got him on this stand right now. But I really do think I'm going to just keep him on his bike. Um, maybe with, with Jesse, because I, I wanted to have the whole party together in what in, in my detolf. But I think having Cloud on this bike with Jesse, maybe on a separate um separate level would would work out good. But yeah, look at the detail in Cloud. I mean he just looks so good. That buster sword in his back looks awesome. I, I probably will display it though with it in his hand, like I had in the bike. Um because it's just, it looks so good like that. So I'm just gonna give a nice little detailed look here for a few seconds. drop your sword <laughs> so there there he is holding his sword up look at that thing man that is awesome so he will do it you got to have him on the stand though otherwise he'll fall forward because the weight of the sword and you have to turn this wrist joint you can see where i have the wrist joint because it's a hinge joint you got to turn it so it's sideways and i just able to move it with my fingers so otherwise his wrist will flop down. And then you also have to make sure the, the forearm, the bicep swivel is turned like that. Otherwise his arm won't hold it. But the shoulder joint, the way they did the shoulder joint, they did it like that on purpose so you could hold the sword out like this. And otherwise it would just, even with a ratchet, it would fall. So it is, it is a, you can do it. Um, and it does look pretty awesome. I mean, check that out. Awesome look. Very cool. And then just to check the measurement on the sword, from the tip to the hilt is eight and a half inches. If you add the rest of the hilt in, you're looking at over 10 inches. So the Buster Sword is actually longer than uh, Sephiroth's uh, Misamuni. The Misamuni is like seven. Well, I don't know, I haven't measured yet. It's seven feet in real life, Misamune. I don't think this is seven feet in real life. I have Sephiroth. Um, I've been I've been unboxing these and reviewing them as I got them in the mail. So uh, Sephiroth is next. But yeah, really cool. And as far as Cloud's height, let's see what we got here. Um, Cloud is yeah. With the, if you go to the tip of his hair, there he's ten and a half inches to the highest point of his hair. So ten and a half inches. Let's do some size comparisons. All right, so here's the team assembled so far, and Cloud's a lot taller than Aerith. Um, I really measured Aerith. She comes in like nine and a quarter. Cloud's ten and a half, so a full inch and a quarter taller than Aerith. It looks a lot more in, in this in this shot right here, but that's uh, that's the, the height difference. I'm curious to see how tall Sephiroth is, because I'd imagine he's taller than Cloud. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Really cool. Got Red 13, Yuffie, Aerith, Cloud, 
um, I got Barrett also to, to re review. And I also have um, Tifa, uh, the second version of Tifa, which is on pre-order right now. So I won't be getting her until probably like July or August, I believe. But that'll conclude this, this set from Remake. Um, so yeah, really cool. Um, let's go ahead and conclude this video. Okay, at the end of the day, is this set worth it? I, I think absolutely. Um, if you like Cloud, yeah, if you like FF7, you're going to like Cloud probably. And Jesse's a fun character. Um, the bike turned out really good. They sit on the bike really good. Very dynamic looking here with, you know, the buster sort of coming down ready for an attack. Jesse with her machine gun. Uh, it's still available on BBTS, Big, Boy, Big Bad Toy Store, which is where I got this from. You know, $4 standard shipping, you can't beat. It doesn't matter the size of the item, I believe. You know, this thing weighed a lot, and it came 4 bucks. Um, it's also available on Square Enix North as well. But regardless, um, let me know what you guys think. You know, if you like this kind of content, you know, please subscribe, um, like, comment. I love to interact with comments. But until next time, this has been Player at Sky, Cloud, um, Jesse, and the bike from Final Fantasy Remake.